He's a self-declared free speech absolutist. But just what will that mean for Twitter under Elon Musk? The world's richest man and head of Tesla wants to set a new tempo for one of the most influential social media platforms after Twitter accepted his $44 billion offer to buy it. Wall Street investors who are getting a good price for the shares that Musk will purchase to take the company private clearly like it. But further afield in Manhattan, some users, not so much. I just don't think it would be good if he had all that control. And just because he has a lot of money doesn't give him all that power. If you have all that money, um, it's easy to like buy your way to take control over speech and stuff like that. I wish him the best of luck. I think he'll turn it for the better. How so? Uh, giving people more freedom of speech. Maybe bringing my man Trump back to Twitter. But for now, the former president, who earlier this year launched his own social media platform, says he would spurn the chance to rejoin Twitter after being permanently banned when the company accused him of inciting the siege of the US Congress. Donald Trump and his firebrand politics arguably represent the greatest litmus test for Elon Musk's concept of free speech. Musk says that free speech must fall within the bounds of the law. But even in the United States, where free speech is enshrined in the Constitution, it's becoming increasingly contentious in an era when social media is increasingly being used to wage disinformation wars. The European Union was quick to remind Musk of what it considers his responsibilities, at least within its jurisdiction. Our new online rules, the Digital Services Act, um, is, is very much, at, um, you know, uh, taking this into account. I mean, it applies to all major platforms to make sure their power over public debate is subject to democratically validated rules, in particular on transparency and accountability. Appropriately, Musk has tweeted his plans for what he calls the de facto town square, including creating a button to edit tweets once they've been sent, and adding, I hope that even my worst critics remain on Twitter, because that is what free speech means. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.